to London, England, our next stop on our world tour episode. We all know about the famous fish and chips, but London is one of the world's busiest cities, so let's see what else they have to offer. All right, so we're here at Guinness World Records headquarters, and we're gonna attempt a couple records. I like this place a lot, so let's get it done. We have people that tell us that they, for example, have spoken to, uh, I don't know, to aliens or that they have spoken to uh, uh, dolphins, for example, but they can't prove it. Uh, they can't prove that the dolphin has understood what they were talking about. Zeus, the biggest dog. Could you imagine? Could you imagine having a dog like this? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good. I haven't seen you in the last few months. Yeah, it's been it's been a couple months. Yeah, not too bad. Fury speed, Guinness Records attempt for the fastest time to eat 15 Ferrero shares. Yep. In three, two, one, go! Two minutes and three seconds. Stop. So. <laughs> the results are two minutes and 22 seconds. Woo! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Woo! And on behalf of to say that you are again officially amazing. Thank you. these guards we're gonna see how serious they really are they're not allowed to move we're gonna we're gonna try and make a move we'll see how good they really are hey um so I got a hot dog and I was, it just, it seems like you really are hungry and need a bite. Would you like a bite? Okay, I'm gonna eat this. I need you to start the time, okay? Okay, you ready? Okay, good. No? Oh. No? He didn't move at all. He didn't give a shit what I was doing. Not at all. These guys, are, these guys are good. These guys are trained. Hey, you seem to know your way around London. Where is the best food in town? Best food in town. 
I think I got it. We're at the Wonder Cafe to take home the biggest breakfast challenge in the UK. It's huge. I'm scared, but I'm hungry. Let's do it. Hi. Hi. How are you? Really pleased to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you Come too. Come all the way from Toronto to see us. I have indeed, and I am hungry. I heard you have an awesome breakfast challenge right here. The yeah. Wonder Breakfast Challenge. Yeah. That looks massive. That looks massive. Yeah. And there's, how many of you have finished it? Uh, we've only had one lady finish it. And how many of no you have men. tried? Oh, a couple of dozen, I Oh guess. Yeah, yeah, a bunch, right? Yeah, we have. All right. Typical English delicacy. We put bread in the hot oil and then we lightly toast it. We think that this is the biggest fry up in Britain. Feeling hungry? Wow, that's nuts. <laughs> that really is nuts. This is massive. This is absolutely gigantic. I have no idea if I can do this. I am starting this. Let's go. I couldn't believe that. Did it! <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, you did really well, Pete. We're dead proud of you. That's great. Mm, it was the best breakfast challenge I've ever had. That's for sure. <laughs> Whew. Well, thank you very much. That was delicious. It was nice to conquer your challenge, <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll be back one day as well to do this once Pleasure. more. Pleasure. See ya. <laughs> Fantastic. Go. So the Prime Minister lives here? So that the Prime Minister lives here? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we can have a cup of tea with him? Uh, not today. No. How much would it cost to have dinner with the Prime Minister? He doesn't do private dates at all. He, do he doesn't, no. huh? That's too bad. Well, we'll get him next time. Thank you. All right, cheerio. We're catching the bus before we bought the car. You see, give a man a fish, and you eat for a day. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to be fishing here. But, you know, I'm hungry. I want some fish, you know? I haven't seen any fish and ship stalls yet, so... Come on. No fishing along we're not, here. We're not actually fishing. It's no, not even no, in the water. No. Okay. No. No private filming along here. Okay. We're putting it away. Permission from the tower. Sir. Sir. Turn it off. We couldn't catch our fish. It was too hard anyway. So let's go catch our fish and chips. Can I get uh, one serving of your fish and chips, please? Thank you very much. Ooh. So, is there a traditional way of eating this? Traditional, by hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Okay, good to know. All right, thank you very much. Nice finger food. Oh, I'm really good. It's nice with the vinegar, to be honest. It's tasty.
but let's keep exploring. We've got our fuel. Let's find a really good place. It's for a day, it's a sunny one. Here the money comes. If it's a thing I've never seen, then they bound to catch a funny one. Here they kitty come, come, wanting me to run one. Since I think he's Bob, I sold him a dumb dumb. I know one day somehow I got All right, guys, we're here at Manzi's. Opened in 1892, serving very, very traditional eel pies. Let's give them a try. Hi there. So, uh, I know nothing about eel pies. What are they all about? All right, we've got minced beef pie, mashed potato, and liquor, which is a parsley-based sauce. Okay. Parsley and some other ingredients. They're, they're secret. <laughs> We're not allowed to tell. And I'll just dish you up some jelly deals, all right? These are stewed ones. I'll only give you a few. There are bones in the middle, so be careful, all right? These would traditionally be served with the sauce. Mm -hmm. mm, that's tasty. I guess eel is very fatty, so if you boil it like this, it just becomes very, very um, soft. Um, but it goes well with the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll try that as well. It's not bad. It's good. Mm. Thank you very much for everything. Very good. Cheers. All right, time to meet some boys that are experts in parkour. They're going to show me a thing or two. Mostly I'm thinking about counter, uh, contrasting the weight in my head with the weight in my hips. Yeah. <laughs> so is everything that you do legal? So we don't break the laws. Or if we ask to leave, we leave. Okay. We don't train here too much, but when we do, we often meet the residents and they get to know us and they find out that we're not really doing anything crazy or dangerous. I'm gonna show you boys how it's done. This, this is what I do. You ready? <laughs> I counted 14 seconds in my head. It was good eating with you guys, so we'll see you around. Right. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this place all about? You get a lot of edgy, cool-looking people around this area. Yeah, it seems that way. Yeah, very, I've very got, trendy. I've only lived here for six months, and I still feel like people sort of crowd. Yeah, very trendy. Get uh, one of those chorizo scotch. We got ourselves a traditional scotch egg. There's different fillings inside. This one's chorizo. It's good. It's 
pretty much a sausage filled egg ball thingy. It's good. Honky Tonk for the world's most expensive burger. Mmm, staff only. Ah, Chef! How oh, are hey, you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah, welcome. I, I heard you're making one hell of a burger for me today. I'm ready for you if you're ready for it. It's got um, some pepper, salt, lemon. It's also got some Iranian saffron in there to give it a nice flavor and a nice color. All right, so we've got the, uh, the, the boiled uh, duck egg here. Uh, we're going to put that into the uh, stove top smoker. Now in here is some wood chips underneath. That goes in there and this is gonna have a nice smoky flavor to the egg. So that just goes onto the stove. Uh, as you can see, it's got a nice smoky flavor and nice, nice color as well. the French black truffle brie, and that's going to be in the middle of the burger. So we just put that into the center, and then get the other half of the meat, and that's gonna be over the top. Uh, you can see the, uh, the brie is starting to come out as well, so that's going to flavour the burger lovely. We get our lobster. I'm just going to put that onto here. the top of the bun and there we have the glam burger. Here we are sir. Wow. Enjoy wow. your breakfast. I just I can't figure out how to really eat this though. How do you eat this? Have you eaten one of these before? I have. Yeah, I, I squished it all together and ate it as a burger so it's, uh, it, it's never going to be neat and tidy. Here we go guys. The world's most expensive hamburger. Mm. There's just so many flavors in my mouth right now, I can't explain it. Wow. I definitely feel that smokiness of the egg. That comes through like crazy. Mm. I'm pretty sure I taste, you said it's gonna taste like green tea or? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I taste that. What can I say? Fierce Pete Styles, let's eat this burger. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> That's the look of pure joy. Mm. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> it was fantastic. There's so many flavors that it's just, it's, it's hard to process everything. I, I really have no words, but I'm, I'm looking forward to my golden poop. Oh, that's, it's all about the enjoyment. That's, uh, that's what cooking's all about. We, we're here to make people happy, and if it's made him happy for his breakfast, I've done my job. Lamb burger. Okay, and there is your bill, sir. That was so damn expensive. I don't know how I'm gonna manage to survive the rest of this trip. <laughs>